You know, I actually feel sorry for this young woman because she's been completely misled. Misled by other women, misled by feminism, and in fact, misled by society. That said, I have to admire her willingness to put it right out there who she really is. Someone who judges others' worth as a potential mate based solely on what in the end doesn't in any way define a person's value, either as a human being or to society, their education level. I get it. Feminism told her and millions of other women that having not one but two degrees would make her a boss bitch. It convinced her and other women that by having those degrees, they by definition were better, better than everyone else, and most especially, better than any man who, how'd she put it, oh right, only has a birth certificate. Well, here's the thing, darling, and all the other women out there, and this is coming from someone who has interviewed, hired, and fired thousands of people, someone who has built and run multiple successful companies, someone who was in high-level management and had to work with others who thought their shit didn't stink because they had multiple or advanced degrees. You see, in the end, those degrees mean nothing. Nothing with regard to being a success, and more importantly, nothing with regard to who they are as a human being. And it means even less when it comes to defining value to society. Because you see, darling, all those things around you, the food you eat, the water you drink, the electricity, the roads, and all those other things you take for granted every single day were largely built and are maintained by those who don't have multiple degrees, or any degree for that matter. Hell, you wouldn't have even had a college to go to if those men, the ones you're disparaging, hadn't built it. The fact of the matter is, society would collapse in a matter of hours without those men. Those men you've deemed unworthy and unfit as a potential mate simply based on education. Look, I'm not trying to be mean here. I'm simply telling you like it is. Because I've seen countless people over the years who thought they were all that because they had multiple degrees or advanced degrees. And they ended up bussing tables or folding shirts for the display case at the Gap. Not that there's anything wrong with those careers. Because they couldn't make it in business. Because while they thought they were all that, they were anything but. And I've also seen countless others who not only didn't have a college degree, but not even a high school degree, who ended up becoming invaluable members of the team, who were the first to step up when the going got tough, like, say, those in the recent hurricanes. I've seen ones who built huge billion-dollar companies, who make multiple six-figure incomes repairing the plumbing and electric in people's homes. Ones who've achieved levels of success, not many, but most of those with multiple degrees can't even dream of. But what they were even more successful at was being good human beings. Ones who judged others not based on some pieces of paper hanging on the wall, but on who they were as human beings themselves. Ones who had the intelligence and wherewithal to know that a college degree doesn't automatically make someone smarter or a better person. Hell, they see that in many cases, having a degree actually makes them worse. And here's the thing. Value as a human being isn't defined by how many years you spent in a classroom or some piece of paper in a frame. No, my friends, value is and should be based on the content of someone's character and what they bring to others, what they bring to society as a whole. That is what defines a great person, and that is what defines success. Far more than some bought-and-paid-for piece of paper hanging on the wall.